man you'll remember seeing on a dash cam video in an altercation with police that took place in March. He's now being ordered to undergo a psych evaluation. Friday, the state filed a motion to have that man evaluated. 21 year old Robert Johnson appeared in court Tuesday morning on a class B misdemeanor for possession of marijuana. However, Johnson says the pot wasn't his. Initial testing showed no evidence of Johnson's fingerprints on the baggies. ABC 7's Marissa Lucero has the latest in the case. Friends and family of Robert Johnson gathering at the Potter County Courthouse Tuesday morning for the 21-year-old's pretrial hearing on a Class B misdemeanor for possession of marijuana. Friday, the Potter County Attorney's Office filed a motion suggesting incompetency and requesting Johnson be examined by a psychiatric expert. Tuesday, the court granted the state's motion to have Johnson examined, but it also sided with Johnson's attorney's request to have the bags of marijuana police say they found on him the night of March 28th tested for DNA. After Johnson's competency results are in, the county says it will then decide how to proceed. If we do have an independent report that comes back that suggests that his mental competency level is that of a person less than 15 years of age, for sure, we're going to get rid of this case. Assistant Potter County Attorney Wade Overstreet says Johnson's competency is important to the case and needs to be addressed. Johnson has an IQ of 52 and county attorneys say that's the reason they filed the motion. But Johnson's defense team says they're afraid this could lead to Johnson being placed in an institution. Contrary to what's been suggested by others, uh, there's no intent or purpose here or reality that Mr. Johnson is going to be sent to the state mental hospital for an indefinite period of time. Johnson's attorney Ryan Brown yeah, says today's a victory, but says they won't be satisfied until Johnson is cleared. The judge understands what's going to be on those DNA bags and he signed that. The next big victory is going to be either a dismissal or a not guilty at trial. And the court ruled that Johnson must undergo a psych evaluation before the bags of marijuana are tested for DNA.